Round one, we got a keeper. I'm digging it. Got all of our land, we've got some plays eventually. Not playing first, but that's okay. Let's see what we're up against. A little green action going on. All right. Elvish Mystic on turn two. I have a feeling I know what that guy drew. In crust, it's not bad either. Ooh, attacking right into that raise the alarm that I wish I had. Uh-oh. The bane of my existence. That's okay. For now, we'll jam out the old Midnight Guard. Thankfully, we at least have a lot of ways to get rid of the Netcaster Spider for attacks when we come to that point, when we actually have an army that I can get in with. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, I'll take that. And then I'll uh, encrust it, as a matter of fact. Yes, I could have blocked, but I actually kind of like having my Midnight Guard here. And I don't see any reason why he would attack if he didn't. Uh, I mean, could have just juked me, I guess. But All right, no land drops, which is a bit worrisome, but at least we have a lot of stuff we can keep busy with. Alright, well, I guess that's true. I had to get past the uh, titanic growth anyway. He sliced it. I guess I could have left up the peel from reality, but... Eh. Alright, that's not the biggest deal in the world. Let's get a land here. There we go. Let's uh, bust out the old griffin. That way we've got uh, Mr. Carrion Crow on lockdown. If he attacks into it, I guess I don't block, and then next turn I have to just leave up Quickling or Peel from Reality, so that way I can bounce past it. Seven drop. Oh, Hornet Queen. That seems very difficult to beat. Not exactly sure how I'm going to go about beating that. Hmm. I guess I got the Razor for Griffin, so... Between Void Snare and Peel from Reality, maybe? I don't know. Got a bunch of Death Touchers I have to deal with, though, which seems very challenging. Um, so I can do Peel from Reality and Quickling next turn. Definitely can never bounce the Hornet Queen. Mm, at least he's got no cards left in hand. So he has no comfortable way around Razorfoot Griffin. No attacks. Hmm, what can I do? I mean, I could play Quickling, but then i forced to play Razorfoot Griffin. It basically just nets me. Um, it doesn't seem worth it. Ooh, that was an ugly draw. Do I just start pinging away Death Touchers? Ugh, ugh. I don't like that. Let's get out the Path Mage. I don't get to leave up anything, which kind of does suck, but at least that thing eventually can become unblockable. I don't know. 
I just feel like sitting and not playing lands or spells isn't working too well for me. Come on. Work the same way it works for me. Just get rid of all your important stuff. Well, I guess Hornet Queen would have been one of those. Black Cat and Eternal Thirst. Huh. It's not that devastating. Jeez. All the people from Realities. I mean, I am happy that Razor for Griffin's doing something. I guess since he's in top deck mode, I need to start getting a bit aggressive here. He's starting to get quite the army, though. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we do? Could bust out the Frost Lynx, and then I still can't. Hmm. Um, what do I do? I needed a land there is kind of what I needed. I mean, eventually he's going to draw something that can deal with the griffin, and then we're in, a, we're in a tough spot, which is why the importance of leaving Peel from Reality is so evident. I mean, I want to do Quickling, too. I don't know. I'm, like, at a full grip of cards while our opponent's at nothing, but I just don't feel safe. I don't feel safe attacking, even. He can crack back with everything. I can kill Hornet Queen. He'll deal 1, 2, 6, 8, 9 damage to me, which is pretty enormous. I think I got a chill, sadly. I could just Void Snare token for damage prevention. God, does that seem unexciting. Can't even really comfortably peel anything. Can't really comfortably play Quickling. Give me a land. There we go. All right. So now I can at least get in with the Path Mage. Kind of. Imagine he'll crack in with everything. Still not. So now I've got six mana. We're oh so close to getting that guy online. But I think that we just continue doing this. All right, he's going for it. He's had enough. All right, so the old plan. I think what we're going to do is block Hornet Queen. Then we'll peel a Path Mage. Although maybe I should have just quickling that. Oh, that's all right. Peel the Path Mage as well as Token for some perma kill. Guess I should have first struck first. That would have made more sense.
Hmm. Guess that guy does get bigger, but uh, this is definitely the point where I gotta play a Frost Lynx. Let's lock down a. I don't even know. Guess a crow, since it's the biggest dude. And it flies. And then uh, let's drop a skulker, I guess. No attacks. Skulker gets bigger. That's good news. Alright, so we're at 7 mana. Let's bust out the old Path Mage again, I guess. Um, let's just at this point, let's just get rid of a token. Yeah, it seems like a waste, but we've got more bounce, and I want to slow him down as much as I can. So I guess we're back into chill-out mode. We've got the quickling up. Got the peel from reality. All right. Easy crow trade. I might have just swung with the insects. Ooh, Spectre Ward too, geez. Uh, well, seems like an appropriate time to get our dude back out. Then I guess theoretically we can make something unblockable, but I may just want to keep that peel there just for safety's sake. All right, he's got three one ones up. That's it. Seems like a really safe time to get in there with, uh, I don't know. Even Chasm Skulker seems safe to get in with here. Wants to triple block? That'd be a huge gain for us. I think maybe we get in with Lynx and Skulker. Leave back the Path Mage. The unblockable seems more important. And we can... Oh, yeah, because we have the Peel from Reality, so we can bounce our own Frost Lynx and one of his dudes if... Stuff starts getting nasty. Huh. Dodge double flesh to dust. That's pretty crazy. Alright, we're up to 8 mana. I think at this point we can just Spectre Ward the old Skulker. Get in for a six. I 
I guess I can get in for more than that, huh? Make the path mage unblockable and we'll get in for nine. And then it is definitely lethal next turn. Could swing with the frost links too, but whatever. A lot of tricks in his deck. Double Flesh of Dust is pretty nice. Otherwise, Hornet Queen's going to be a big deal. May need to bring in the old Statute of Denial to stop the old Hornet Queen, even though somehow Razorfoot Griffin single-handedly held down the fort. All right, surprisingly one. I was getting worried there uh, when I saw a Hornet Queen relatively ramped into relatively early. Kind of feeling the Statue of Denial, I'm not going to lie. I think the bounce spells <laughs> tend to get a little bit worse when it comes up against him. Jeez, that guy's a monster. Yeah, I'm going to, I don't know if I want to bring in two Statue of Denials. That might be a little bit too crazy, but possibly. I mean, I'm... <laughs> I've already got a hard enough time making decisions on cuts in here. Like, Encrust pan panned out so well for us there. Guess we could cut the Void Snare for the statute. Maybe try that. Ups our curve a little bit, but we still get the synergistic effects of Peel from Reality and the potential counterspell for um, Hornet Queen. Could bring them both in, but I don't even know what I cut. Another bounce spell, but even into the void seems relevant. Let's try it again. Ew, it's kind of ugly. Two white sources and five blue spells. I don't think that's going to work. Do me a little bit better than that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Both colors and a two drop and a four drop I can play. No complaints. I accept the six card mall. Hmm. Little triplicate spirits action. Not too shabby. Black Cat. Black Cat's not that good against us. Three cards left in his hand. Hmm. Well, I certainly hope one of them's not a Hornet Queen. I guess technically he's racing a little bit better than we are. No plays. All right. I definitely. Ooh. That's pretty sexy. Little Paragon, huh? So I think next turn we go Paragon into Triplicate Spirits. Seems pretty legit. Although, maybe I would prefer him to... That's fascinating. I guess if he starts flesh to dusting stuff, that would be a big deal. Interesting play. Wow. So why did he leave the mystics back? What's his follow-up? 
Well, that doesn't make sense. I'm confused. I'm going to play the Razorfoot Griffin. I'd rather have him uh, flesh at us that. Because then I can play the Paragon, and hopefully he's only got the one this time. He's got one card left in hand. Which is... Just a black cat. Very interesting. No attacks with the black cat. I probably would have attacked with the black cat, but what do I know? Triple get spirits. Are we going to get fester gloomed? We shall find out. He didn't see it the first time around, so I hope no. But if he does, this would be the turn to get blown out by it. I guess logically, he'd still lose a couple mystics, so it doesn't seem that good. For him, that is. I mean, it is. it would definitely be the right play. Him losing two Mystics is much less devastating than me losing three Spirits in a Welkin turn, but we shall see. We shall see. Shaman of Spring. Yeah, I can handle that. I can handle the Shaman of Spring. If we bust out this Paragon, we're going to have an arsenal. A monstrous force. Why would you attack with the non-lifelinking one? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, he wants it to get bigger. I see, okay. Makes a little more sense. Let's uh, get our land out there. Let's get our paragon and start going to town on people here. Got a two-turn clock by my count. even with the lifelink. So he's got to get a Flesh of Dust here, or a Hornet Queen. Going all in, that makes sense. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. If he has a titanic growth, he can deal ten. Which is not lethal. But he could gain five. Which means he'd cast it there. So I am going to block. I guess he could have gather courage too. I'm trying to think if there's anything that could be lethal with one card. I don't think so. Titanic Growth does not kill me, but it gains him enough life to maybe survive the Onslaught. He'd go to 15, I attack in there. Hmm, quite the dilemma. And this guy will get bigger. I'm going to take it. Last card was a land. All right. Got there. He could have passed the turn and left it up, whatever. Fooled me or something. Or I, I guess I still would have attacked it. It didn't matter. But all right. Well, that panned out well for us. Somehow we beat a Hornet Queen deck. I guess he wasn't being as aggressive as I may have been. I don't know. I had sort of an awkward board state going game one. So hopefully we don't run into that issue again. But uh, ended up getting there. So I'll see you round two.